Welcome back to match night commentary, where in our feature match, it's Barcelona winning against Paris Saint-Germain 1-0. Let me just mark your card and what's happening around Europe tonight before the teams come out. Bayern Munich 1, Juventus 0 is a half-time score as well. It's a goal coming in the very first minute through Alaba and gives them a, a slender lead there against Juventus. Both teams leading their respective uh, leagues in Italy and Germany, respectively. Let's just check the championship scores, latest scores. Let's just check what's happening here. No goals at half time between uh, Brighton and uh, Charlton. Half time, though, in a game uh, in, the, in the big match of the, uh, of the four there. In the championship, Hull nil, Watford one, Troy Deeney, the goal scorer, four minutes from half time. Gibbs. Is Watford a big advantage there? Middlesbrough, Peterborough is a half time score. Bolton, Huddersfield. It's 40 minutes old and there's goals there as well. So that keeps you up to date with all tonight's football. Not just in Europe, but uh, in the Empower Championship as well. We're just awaiting the two teams to come out at um, the Parc de France. And we'll have another commentary game tomorrow night from the Europe. It will be Real Madrid, we th it will be neither Real Madrid, Galatasaray, or it will be neither, well there's another game tonight, playing, being played that night between Borussia Dortmund and Malaga. One of those two games you will hear full commentary on tomorrow night on my YouTube channels. So, and of course we'll have the cricket season of course coming up. Just to just to mark your card, there is uh, one nil to Bayern Munich. Twenty-five seconds, I should say. That goal was tied up rather than the first minute of the game. We're still awaiting the two teams to come out at the Parc de France for our commentary game. Lean, lean on Messi. There's the Paris Saint-Germain side. It's match night live here on uh, JB Claret's YouTube channel. Well, delayed anyway. Delayed second half. Off to commentary. We're not exactly at the ground. It's a uh, it's an off uh radio star commentary of this game. And uh, great opportunity here now. And there's a substitution at half time. It's Lionel Messi. His injury means he retires from the match. And uh, the former Arsenal talisman, Cesc Fabregas, will enter the fray. Enter the fray, which could well be uh, crucial now if PSG get themselves back into this match. They've no Messi to worry about. They can they can go on out there in the second half PSG. And they can't lose now. They can't lose. Wolfgang start the referees ready to get us underway. We're all set to go. So apart from that one change, it's as you were. No changes from the Paris Saint-Germain end. We'll, um, we'll re-familiarise you all with the two teams if you want. And uh, as we get underway, it's... Uh, PSG get his underway, attacking the goal to our right in the second half. Lionel well, Messi's goal after 38 minutes, the difference, but he's now been substituted. We'll bring you up to date with the two teams in just a second. Confirmation of the Fabregas substitution. And we'll also bring you the substitutions as well. Or as well as on the substitute bench, I should say. As soon as we get a big breaking play, well, early on in the second half, we'll bring you two teams yet again. So we'll just we'll just uh, break up as uh, Jale brings the ball towards the edge of the penalty area. My story now chips it in there towards. Well, Lavezzi and Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Just to bring you the Paris team, they're unchanged by the way. 
They line up with uh, Sidhu, the Italian in goal. Yale, Alex, Thiago Silva, Maxwell, the back four. Lucas Beckham, Matuderi, and Pastori, the midfield four, with Lavetti and Zlatan Ibrahimovic, the men in front. Duchez, Zacco, Menez, Camiero, Chanoan, Van der Rio, and Verratti are the substitutes. Barcelona line up with uh, Victor Valdez, of course, the regular goalkeeper. Back four of Alves, Pique, who's been booked, Mascarano and Alam, Alba. Three, field three of Xavi, Busquets and Iniesta, with Sanchez, Xavi Villa and Fabigas replacing Nino Messi. Pinto, Thiago, Batara, Montoya, Song and Christian Tello are the substitutes now. The remaining substitutes, because Fabigas has already come on, he started as a substitute. As Barcelona tried to build an attack, but it's with the goalkeeper now. To Judo, Italian number two, to Gigi Buffon. And Thiago Selva, coolly done there, getting away from Sanchez there, on the edge of his own penalty area. That was coolness personified. Balls out of play, PSG for up. In fact, he got away from Seth Fabregas. I think that was a bit of skill that say, even the great Lino Messi would have been proud of himself. Apologies to anybody who may well listen to the first half commentary of this match and think uh, that I may, I may have said PSG a couple, PSV a couple of times. I got myself a little bit flustered. But it is Paris Saint-Germain we're watching, not PSV Heindhoven. So apologies in, uh, in advance if I may have said PSV instead of PSG during the first half. But PSG have played a, a good game, and one would say they're very unfortunate to be a goal down, but they've got a three kick here for a foul of David Beckham, who's, I think, feeling the effects of it. Take it quickly Lucas. to Lucas Moyer, who had a who had a big say uh, in the first half in some of their attacks. Alex, back to the goalkeeper. He's not just a footballer in these days, David Beckham is an ambassador all over the world. He's a worldwide figure, David Beckham. That's going to be a, a Barcelona throw to uh, a lot of people's surprise. I have to say, I have to agree with Carl Ancelotti, I thought it was a Paris throw. I have to say that indeed, I thought, I thought they came off a Barca player last. Has he given a free kick? I think he's given a free kick. Presumably by a foul on a, a Barca player in the first place. Well, that, I, I cannot fathom. It's Iniesta now on the ball. On the Barcelona left-hand side. And now he plays it in field. Alves offering an outlet over on the far side. Into the penalty area, it's Fabregas. Fabregas turns and shoots. Selva gets the block in for expensive of the corner, and he felt that. Good. Disciplined defending there by the Brazilian. Almost five minutes gone in this uh, second half. Remember, this is the first leg. Second leg to come at the new camp. This is replacing the European Cup semi final. We're now playing the old style European Cup ties as it used to be. It's old school knockout European football now. And the shot back in by Busquets after a weak clearance by the Paris Saint Germain defence. Shot from about 20 yards, just uh, edge of the D. I, I would have thought he hit it with the left foot. It was straight at the goalkeeper. He carried it in rather comfortably, I thought. David Beckham now to Zatani Pavinic, back to David Beckham, from the right footed, Pavetti uh, holding up as if he was shoved there. Jale wins the ball and it's now Zlatan Ibrahimovic, good football here, and there may have been a case there, possibly for a penalty, what a block to me on the Paris player. 
Maybe Mazzarini's never going to get on the end of it, but he looked as if he was blocked there quite blatantly, but the referee and Mascarano is holding his face. I'd have to see the replay again to get a, a proper view of this. Well, it's blatant. I mean, it, yeah, yes, it's, it can be deemed accidental, but it's just blatant from Mascarado. He's asking to get caught there, isn't he? Just proves how amateurish he is as a centre back, quite honestly. I, I've always seen him, certainly in his West Ham and Liverpool days, as more of a midfield anchor man. Now, given away, and here's a chance for Zaten inside the penalty area. Zaten Ibrahimovic, that is. PK got away there just in the nick of time. He had to time it well because he's on a yellow card, of course. He's the only one who's picked up a yellow card. 1 0 elsewhere in Europe. We'll check the championship scores for you in just a second. Two half time score lines. Bolton Huddersfield's got to half time goalless. One goal in the championship out of the four games, and that's gone to Watford and Troy Deeney. The only goal scored in the championship. Here's Silva now, the captain. Thiago Silva, the captain of Paris Saint Germain. Pastore turns away, rather coy. And finds David Beckham. Beckham plays it out to the right. And now Jalet. Jalet plays it infield. And Lucas turns and try to beat one Barcelona another player too many. And he was crowded out in the end. And now Xavi, the captain, can bring it away. And now Andreas Iniesta. Again, they're playing there. Slow, patient build up football. Slowing the pace of the game down with every opportunity. Now Sanchez. Serrano, lovely boy, to the far side. Danny Alves with a good quick on, but Thiago is there first. And now Silva gives it away. Not the best thing to do. Chile got in there very quickly. And Busquets has got it now, and Sanchez. Alba now with the overlap on the left. And Jale doing really well there. Never scared to throw himself into a good challenge there, that Jale. Good defending there by the right back of Paris Saint Germain. Played almost 10 minutes of the second half. PSG 0, Barcelona 1. Still. Fabregas, no free kick. I thought Fabregas was lucky for it a little bit. Maxwell now on the far side, in field. Pastore, long boy, may well. Oh, they want to throw here, Barcelona. They've given it Barcelona now. Did that come off for uh, Alba last? I think it did. Well, Vinci, Levetti, the, the Argentinian 40 came off, I think, uh, off a bar supply. I have to concur with him. I thought it deflated off him. Ten minutes into the second half, Barcelona lead. It's been a committed performance. I don't think it's been Vinci's Barcelona by any stretch of the imagination. I know a lot of Barcelona fans may well disagree with me on that one. Xavi. His real name is actually full name if you want uh, the correct name. It's Xavi Hernandez. That's one for you kids to dazzle your mates with <laughs> in the tomorrow morning. Who's what's Xavi's own name? Oh, I know. I know, mate. It's Xavi Hernandez. <laughs> Now we're back to the game, and it's uh, 
Andreas Iniesta plays it in field. And it came off Thiago Tobin, came over for Churis. Alex did well to, uh, to block um, pass by uh, Ibrahimovic. It's Pastore tries to get in behind there from Zatan Ibrahimovic's pass. Gone dead for a throw, which Maxwell will take inside his own half. It's a good game here developing. Now Lucas Mora has got Jale now over on the right. Getting in towards the penalty area. And he's like Danny Berevich. He's just, just, just let him down. He tried to control it. Maybe it would have been advice, really. He was just to the left of the goal, really, inside the penalty area. David Beckham now over the halfway line. And he passed then. was a, a disappointing one there. Couldn't pick out Jale. Alex in for Paris Saint Germain. A little quick ground by Levetti. And Ibrahimovic, that's good play. PK got it away. In fact, it's, a, it's come off the Paris player for a goal kick. Oh, that's a lovely ball there by Zlatan in the first place. Zlatan Ibrahimovic has reached the final, quarter finals five times with five different clubs. Has reached one semi and never even reached the final. He's won a lot of leagues in Europe, Italian league, the Spanish league. He's of course here to win the French league in here, but the European Cup's always eluded him. It's the one title he'd really want. Sass Fabregas turning on the far side. There's a, I think there's an object being thrown there from the crowd. He's back with Fabregas and he's deflected behind for a corner. <laughs> So Barca have a corner. Still the one go in the championship. Three games are seven forty five. Bolton Huddersfield was an eight o'clock kickoff. Nil nil Bolton Charlton. One nil to Watford against Hull. Middles for Peter Brunel nil. And Bolton and Huddersfield of course half time in that one and that's goal as the corner comes in. Too high for PK. He was attacking it on the edge of the area, just inside the D. Sherry, who took it initially, gets the ball back. Fabregas inside the penalty area. Has to twist and turn out again. And Pastore gives away the corner. Played almost an hour of this first leg. CSG now, Barcelona 1. Lino Messi, who's now off the field with the goal in the 38th minute. And there's pushing and shoving going on in the penalty area. I don't think the referee took too much notice of that. As it wasn't affecting the uh, wasn't affecting the uh, where the ball was played. Sensible referee there from Wolfgang Stark of Germany. So yeah now inside the PSG half, trying to play it out to the right, and Thiago Silva did well to get across and you can see the throw level the uh, Paris penalty area. Played an hour now. Oh, and now a chance here for Zotin Ibrahimovic. He's on his own, basically. And Mascarano easily took the ball off him, and now it's Fabregas through the centre circle. Ball through to Alexis Sanchez, shoots from the edge of the penalty area, but it was blocked, and it falls to David Beckham now, inside his own half. That has been kept in, I think, no, by Matidi. No, it hasn't. It's a throw. So Tito by on his side. Yeah. 
Jordi Alba's picking up a yellow card there for a, an earlier challenge, I think, in the, in the same move. And put on that. It is a throw. It's wasted. It's a Paris throw, and it's an opportunity to try and get themselves forward and try and get them an equaliser. They deserve to score tonight with their endeavours. I think what Messi has done is saved me from an embarrassment of scoring a nil-nil. As I said, there'd be goals in this game where we've got one. It's come from the aforementioned Messi. He's not on the field anymore. He picked up an injury, I think, on his right leg at the end of the first half. That's why you've got six back because on at the moment for those who have not been following it at the moment. Now, Rotini playing a one two with Lovetti. Shout out Ibrahimovic now, just to the left of the penalty area. Rotini's cross. And the goalkeeper, under pressure from Lavetti uh, inside the six-yard area, catches it well. Good goalkeeping there by the Spaniard, Victor Valdez. And his kick wasn't at the best, I have to say. All back to the other goalkeeper. Still 1-0. Paris, you feel, need to score. And that was sloppy. And it's Alves now deep inside the... Paris half and look at this, Sanchez is three inside the area and then three Paris players, he, took, he wanted two, oh and it's Sanchez, I'm surprised he didn't shoot quickly away and then, and I think Alba then had another shot, and Sanchez there, I think he needed a hit that first time, I think he gave himself too much time, mind you this touch wasn't the best, so we'll give him credit there, but Alex got back in the nick of time there, but Paris Saint-Germain, you feel now that they're getting a little bit overrun now. You know, Messi's out on the bench for the second half. He's having a conflict there with one of the other substitutes. Here's uh, Jabby's corner. Two go so well with an easy clearance away for a throw. Jabami Menes, the uh, French international centre forward. He's getting ready to make his bow in this first leg. That'll be the first PSG change. It's for seven subjects his name. Three can come on. Oh, that's a good ball. That's Sanchez. Really good ball to the penalty area. Sanchez with the first time shot. He just scuffed it a bit and he allowed the goalkeeper to carry it in much more comfortably than what he would have expected, I suppose. 25 minutes still to go in this first leg. Still the second leg at the new Camp, but if PSG lose this first leg, it could well be a, a long, long second leg against the fear at the new Camp in a fortnight for them. Oh, that looked a soft one, I have to say. I think Iniesta was looking for that. Oh, Matuidi. That's a harsh decision. And he will not play in the new Camp match. I think that's rather soft. I think Iniesta's gone down too easy. I think he's gone the referee. So Lavetti comes on and Jerry Menez will uh, enter the fray now for 25 minutes. The harsh yellow car there for Matrini. We've got news from Germany for you. Two goals to nil now. And it's Tommy Muller who's got the second goal. Thomas Muller, I should say. That's put uh, by Minnick in control. 
on the German point point anyway. Abigas inside the penalty area. Corner kick. No, it's a goal kick, in fact. So it's 2 0 to Bayern Munich. Meanwhile, in the Championship, we'll try and bring you up to date with this uh, in a moment. And still, no goals at Brighton, no goals at Middlesbrough, no goals at Bolton. There into the second half. That's an 8 o'clock kickoff. There are a few minutes in there now at the Reebok. Well, there's only one goal out of the four games being played in the Championship at the moment, and that goal has come from Troy Deeney of Watford in that crucial battle at the top of the championship table, Watford in third, beating Hull in second place. Here, it's still 1-0. Our way goal from Lionel Messi, six, seven or eight minutes before the break. It's the, it's the separation between these two sides. David Beckham there diving in, and he will be the latest to go in the book. Just a bit of frustration from the French now, the French side anyway. Yeah, just took the player out there. I think it was Sanchez. So you, the goalkeeper, making sure his three-man wall is correctly placed. Xavi, we can hit him. Danny Alves can certainly hit them. It's about 30 yards from goal. It's going to be Danny Alves with the right foot, and he splattered that one in, and only just wide of the goalkeeper's post. Sergio got across. He had it covered in the end, and the wall broke very quickly there. The goalkeeper had it covered in any case. It was a good free kick though from uh, Danny Alves. I said he could hit a ball. He certainly did there. It's going to be a throw to Paris Saint Germain. Now, Barati. Barati will come on. Central midfielder. Could well be for David Beckham. He's now carrying a yellow card. Oh, oh Menes is uh, up Danny Alves there. Pushed it down anyway. Now this is down. Look, he's holding his face. He's, he's not even being tripped around his legs. I, I think he's making more of that. I don't think Menes actually meant to touch it. Anyway, meanwhile, David Beckham's coming off. Marco Verratti. Oh, come on. 20 years old. Um, Beckham's putting a decent shift. No more than that. Now Menes to Maxwell. Maxwell on the left-hand side. Plays it in field to Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Maratti gets his first couple of touches. Plays the ball out to the left-hand side. With Maxwell. Maxwell. Plays one, two. And Maxwell on the overlap on the left-hand side. Cuts inside the penalty area. Maxwell shoots near post. Goalkeeper dives on it okay and covers the near post. Gavin City no problem at all. Good skill there for Maxwell, twisting the uh, player over there and signing one way or another. And the goalkeeper was equal to it. That's more like it now from uh, Paris Saint Germain. The ball in towards Zlatan Ibrahimovic again. He always get the sense he's still the main threat. He's not going to get a free kick, but what he thought was a foul on the end of the edge of the D. One nil here in the other quarter final it's two nil to Bayern Munich and it's one nil to Watford. Here we go from the 
domestically and Europe and domestically. Just remember we've got another commentary game from the Champions League tomorrow. It'll be one of the two quarterfinals being played tomorrow. It will either be Borussia Dortmund against uh, Malaga of Spain or it will be Real Madrid. Uh, tie at the bird about as we just see break off for a second as Alves turns. And he's gone for a throw to Paris Saint Germain. Just to say, Beniba, game between uh, Richard Dortmund and Malaga, or, or it will be uh, Real Madrid Galatasaray. One of those two games, we will bring you full delayed off tube commentary of tomorrow evening. Paris Saint Germain now are 18 minutes away from losing this first leg on a, to an away goal scored by Lino Messi. They have to. I think they really have to go for it now. They've got 18 minutes. They haven't got much time. They may as well go for it. Oh, that's a soft free kick against Dalix. Bobby Gas, I think, sort of made a meal of that and conned the referee. So a three kick to Barcelona. Not to soft from from where I from what I saw there. So Chevy and Delia are the two protagonists of the three kick. Now the wall's got to do its best. Going to do better than what it already had done. Messi or Villiers, so Xavi. Xavi shoots, deflected and hit the roof of the net. He was from about 25 yards out. And Sirigu wasn't getting anywhere near that one. He was wrong footed, I think, by a deflection in the wall. Who did it come off here? Came off Alex, in fact. It just ricochets off his forehead. For a corner kick. To be taken by Xavi. Xavi, right footed then. Waxing into the penalty area towards Alexis Sanchez. Maxwell gets it away to Lucas Moura now. Menes now breaking down the left hand side and he's away from one player. And he turns. That's surely going to be a three kick against Mascarano. It's got to be, surely. Yes, it is. Yellow card, and it was the right decision from Wolfgang Stark. Silly challenge by the Argentinian. Nasty foul there on the Frenchman, and he misses the game at the new Camp now. So two, one from each side, out of the game at the new Camp. Messi almost certainly to miss the next match, the second leg for injury. And now Danny Alves is down, holding his uh, leg. Nothing wrong with the challenge. Ratty came flying in there, but it was not a foul. It was purely accidental, and I do think Alves does make a... A story has come off. Christian Taylor. And we've got a free kick to Paris Saint Germain. We'll, we'll confirm the substitution that Paris have just made in a second. Here comes the three kick. It was Lucas Moore just inside the six yard area. Got a deflection off a Barca player last. And I think it's a corner. So still 1 0. It's going to be. 
Going to be Jeremy Mendes to take. Mendes into the penalty area towards Thiago Silva, headed away by a bundle of yellow shirts. He's onside here, and it's Jackie Ibrahimovic inside the area, and he's saved by Valdez. And Barca wanted an offside, which never came. And in fact, two Barcelona players are down by the corner of the six yard area. Xavi's incandescent as always, the goalkeeper Victor Valdez. But I think PSG had every right to play on there. The gamesmanship with referees is remains to be seen. I, he's onside there. Zlatan should score there. Zlatan Ibrahimovic should score there for me. The two guys were playing them, playing three of them onside. That's why they played on. And PS3 had every right to go on and try and equalise. Mascarano's one of them. Barcelona, I'm sorry, their gamesmanship, I've said this once, I've said it before in other games, especially the last season, their, their surrounding of the referees is an absolute disgrace. But PSG have every right, have every right to play on. And you can understand the, the feelings of the Paris Saint-Germain supporters. The referee has got to be stronger than this. And Barcelona, they can't run this. They're still surrounding him. That's Corona still surrounding him. Busquets is the guiltiest party of the lot. They've got to still surrounding the referee. It's an absolute joke. No, Albert or Mascarano for this corner. And it will be their own doing if they equalise now, Paris Saint-Germain. The corner hasn't come to nothing, but it's still Menez. A working opportunity there, and Alex was forward. PK got it away, and it's a three kick to Paris Saint-Germain. And again, Barcelona complain again, but I don't know what they've got to complain about. Gamiero was the man who replaced Pastore, just to fill you in on that. So we've had five yellow cards, two to Paris Saint-Germain. Matui was out of the second leg. Back with the three kick, and it's going to be Menes to fold it in, is it? No, it's going to be Maxwell. Into the penalty area. And it's, it's almost hit the post, and the rebound turned in. By Zlatan Ibrahimovic, and Paris Saint-Germain on level. Zlatan is equalised, and the crowd here at the Parc de France erupts. One inch. Ten minutes just time to go. And they deserve that for the last five minutes alone. He's not been his better performance from Zlatan Ibrahimovic, but you give him an inch and he buries it. The three kick caused all sorts of problems. And I think, well, there is, it's Silver's header, there were maybe a hint of offside there, maybe against Zlatan. But you can't deny that Paris Saint-Germain haven't deserved it because they have. And their second half endeavours. And it's good to, well, I know it's a tough decision for Barca to take. And he does look offside, but in some cases, Barca Colada can have no complaints. One each. And Christian Tahol comes on. And I have to say that Messi's goal against Milan should have been ruled out for offside. So, in life, what goes around comes around. And Barcelona have had their, a lot of the decisions in these competition over the years. Well, they haven't got one this time. And they've got, absolute, you know, sometimes that sort of decisions even themselves out. It's one inch, and I think it's the right score at the moment. And there's players going up in the crowd now. There's a, there's a, the whole feeling of the occasion now changed in the Parc de France. And it's Paris Saint-Germain now going for the kill, if you like, in the last 10 minutes. Here's Maxwell, his free kick caused all the confusion, which led to the equalising goal. Menez over on the far side. Plays it in towards... 
the penalty area, but uh, Barcelona have rattled. Menez has got the ball. Gennaro now. Alex now in his own half. What a game it has been. And well, we've got, we're, we're just grateful for an equaliser. Because it was Peter and Annie to a Barcelona win in, until probably five minutes ago. And that's when Paris really, Paris Saint Germain really got some momentum building. And now he very much trying to flick on, but it's too close to the goalkeeper. And he can pick up quite comfortably. Here's the three kick. Maxwell there. Thiago Silva with a header. He should have scored there, to be fair. But uh, full marks to Zlatan Ibrahimovic there for following up quickly, even if he was a tad offside. And the equaliser, well, it has been coming for five minutes. Mascarano, not for the first time, he's down and his number's up. Bartra will come on. We've got about eight minutes to go. 2 0 to Bayern Munich in the other game. Alaba and Muller, the goal scorers in that game. Just to go back to the, uh, the championship. We have a couple we will go to we will go to tell you about in the game at Bolton. Mascarano is on a stretcher as we as I see there. Chris Eagle was formerly at Burnley, has got the equaliser, uh, was got the was given Bolton the lead against relegation threatened Huddersfield and that will be a shot in the arm. Bolton's playoff chances, a win would put them on fifty seven points, just a, just four points behind Brighton. And it would leave Huddersfield in real trouble at the bottom of a very tightly contested table. Bristol City could be likely going down. Peter and Huddersfield still have a chance. Blackburn are not out of the woods yet. They're in 19th position. And Blackpool are either, not even my, but uh, my side, Burnley are out of it yet. They're four points above the drop zone. It's such a tight league down in the Championship at the moment. Back with the Champions League. And it's Barcelona on the attack with Danny Alves down the right hand side. Cuts inside into the penalty area and then back out again to Xavi. Xavi. Oh, to Fabregas, to Danny Alves. Back to Fabregas once again. Fabregas trying to find Alexis Sanchez. Sanchez turns. He's got Alves on the other one. And here he is, Alves. Chips it into the penalty area. Xavi would not so much a convincing header away. But Menez in a cross there to deny Danny Alves. Alves has it's either the goal kick to the frustration of him. It's a goal kick. Danny Alves don't. Well, he deserved that. Silly, silly, silly booking. Silly booking. Why does he have to go and complain? He's the worst of the lot, quite honestly. He's one of the biggest play actors in the team. It's obvious. It's a goal kick. It's a goal kick. It's blatantly obvious. Having seen the replay... He thinks he can just get away and referee the game. I thought Wolfgang Starr refereed it just right. Fuck him. You cannot go around as a player and say, we want this and we want that. It doesn't work that way. Let the referee referee. Wolfgang Starr will obviously stand no nonsense. He's that sort of experience. Road to Barcelona. We've got less than five minutes to go. He'll be a lot happier with uh, life at the moment. He's got uh, his main man Zlatan Ibrahimovic is equalised, has cancelled out Barcelona's goal from their main man, you know, Messi, and he, he could be a crucial blow. Oh, there may be a chance here. Oh, and he just couldn't bounce up there. It was a lovely ball there. I think Menes was in there. And again, Barcelona, there's a player gone down in a heap. It's a foul there. On, is it, I don't know why they keep going down in lumps and bumps. Albert's now down. I think it was 
I think he hurt himself in the challenge with Ibrahimovic. I do think the Barca boys go down a little too easy. Oh, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Now, what has he done wrong there? He's won the ball fairly. Well, is it the first challenge? It may be the second challenge, actually. I didn't see that first challenge. I thought it was the first challenge here. Canero nearly getting in there. Alves headed it away. Now, what does he do here? I think he does catch Jordi Alba, in fairness. I think I retract my statements there. Right, three minutes to go. PSG 1, Barcelona 1. Where are your cards now? 65% to Barcelona. I haven't really done much else other than Messi's goal, to be quite honest. 35% PSG have. They've created the better chances. Lucas Moya on the right-hand side. Tries to get the cross in, but it's blocked. With a combination of Albo and Iniesta. And Iniesta can run away with the ball, and he's done really well, and he's played quite big ass into it. Into a Edgar's empty space and Tello plays it back. Xavi will try a shot. He's about 35 yards out. Danny Alves back to Xavi. Almost near the edge of the area. Tello. We call him. No, he's chips it again over to the far side. And uh, Danny Alves. Alves back to Iniesta. It's the patient football again. Always a chance. And Sanchez was he tricked by the referee. And the referee has said penalty. The goalkeeper's brought him down. And it looks as if Barca may well snatch victory. Yellow card for the goalkeeper. Too many yellow cards, I think, being brandished here. For my liking tonight, Sergio, the latest to go in the book. Sergio, I should say, that's his pronunciation. I'd like to see it from this angle. This will give us a more telling angle. Yes, he's touched him. It's a penalty. Sanchez didn't go there looking for it. It was a foul. It was a foul. Penalty given. And the, and the goalkeeper suggested he may have dived. I did think he was going down a little bit, but it was a penalty. So we go. A little bit unfortunate there. He had to bring him down. Well, now it gives Xavi the chance for 12 yards to beat the goalkeeper. It's going to be right footed Xavi from 12 yards against Sugil. The Italian goalkeeper sends him the wrong way, goes in the corner, and Barcelona snatch a, vi a victory that, say, in my opinion, they have scarcely deserved. One minute of the 90 to go, and it's cruel, cruel luck on PSG, who have played magnificently tonight and deserve to take at least a draw back to the new camp. And it's just a shame. It's just a shame. A first leg, it has to be decided like that. I think justice has not been served. I think Barcelona have got away with Boy Madden tonight. They have not played well at all. Yes, you can say they've had 65%. Harsh on Thiago Silva, who's had a sterling match at that heart of the PSG defence. Two one, but really, I think on the current scheme of things, it's totally undeserved. It should be level G devils at the moment. He's been tearing, he's been penalised. Free kick to Barcelona. It was a penalty. I, I, I don't think Barcelona have deserved to win the game. I don't think they've done enough, quite honestly. But the penalty was a penalty. Let's not make any bones about that. Going to time it on at the end of the second half. I don't know how it will be. Not any confirmation on the screen uh, how much time we have. We've got four other minutes. We're now played half a minute into the first of the four. So three kick to Paris, Paris Saint Germain. Flick on there into the penalty area by Zlatan Ibrahimovic. But it comes to uh, Lucas Moira. Moratti into the path of Ibrahimovic. He's offside. Oh, that's harsh. That's harsh. 
thought he was on. It's a good finish. I think he should be two each. No, he's offside. Sorry. I actually thought he was onside. Looking at the first tangle, it looks as if he was offside. Oh, uh, onside, but no. No, Leisman got it right. Which in the last five seasons they've been at least the semi-finals. Plenty of football still to be played in the new camp next week. It's tough on them now because they've really played some really played some decent stuff here tonight. And it's a throw now to the uh, Paris Saint Germain. They've got two minutes to go to try and dig themselves out of a hole and try and get a second equaliser. And the ball over the top towards Zatan Ibrahimovic. This time he is on side. It's surrounded by Barca shirts. Little chip in there. Zlatan's in again, but he's getting offside. Well, it's been tough, tough, tough luck on PSG. Yes, he was offside by a mile this time. So, now into the last of four minutes now that was allocated by the German official. So, it's still all to play for. Paris have a goal on the board, but they've conceded two away goals. Apart from the goals, I don't think uh, Barcelona have offered too much tonight. Just their usual brand of uh, slow, patient football. It's good on the eye, but sometimes you can get a little bit bored. You want to see an all-action game. Jale into the penalty area. But to Edie, he's got to keep on in! It's two each! And they deserve it! And Barcelona have been denied victory in the first leg! What a fantastic finish! What it went for the goalkeeper, who will be disgusted with himself! That was a bad, bad error by Victor Valdez! And PSG have given themselves something to fight with now in the new camp next week! Two each! Could have got a deflection. The ball into the penalty area. Towards Latin Ibrahimovic. He knocked it back. And the deflection on the shot. It's beaten Valdez. I thought he'd have gone for his legs initially, but there must have been a deflection there. And now we have a whole new ball game. What a tremendous finish to a game that's had everything. And the final whistle has gone. Three goals in ten minutes, really. That's um, has given has given us a full time outcome here of two two. We'll check the other scores as we finish our finish our finish up here. So a goal from Matuidi has saved the day for Paris Saint-Germain. It's finished Paris Saint-Germain 2, Barcelona 2, and it gives them a fighting opportunity next week in the uh, new camp. Before we leave you tonight, let's just pick up on all the other scores around Europe at the moment. In the other Champions League game that's still, I think, going on at the moment. Yeah, they're still going on at the moment. It's 2 0 to buy a minute. Goals from Alaba after one minute. And then Thomas Muller after 63 minutes has given has given the Germans a real opportunity here to progress through to the semi finals. But don't discount Juventus. Their home form at their ground, at Juventus Stadium, is very, very good. Meanwhile, let's have a look at the championship. 
what a finish to these what a finish to this game it really has been so the championship all four games going on at the moment are eighty scores three of them are seven forty fives but this Brighton Charlton is a nil nil result so they go to fourteen Charlton Brighton move on to sixty one points and uh, so no no there at the uh, KC Stadium that's into stoppage time and that's being decided it looks like by Troy Deeney's 41st minute strike to give Watford a crucial crucial three points there in their quest for automatic promotion against their automatic rivals of course two minutes we believe are to go at uh, the Riverside, where it's nil-nil between Middlesbrough, who are way off the pace at the moment. They have 55 points. And Peterborough, what a precious point that could be. Wilson winning one point, getting out of the drop zone there. If they can hold on, of course. And Bolton versus Huddersfield, that's an 8 o'clock kickoff. And Chris Eagles has got the goal. It's about 14 minutes to go in that one. Chris Eagles, formerly a Burnley, of course, Burnley fans will remember, getting the goal after 58 minutes. And what a terrific, but what a terrific night in Europe it has been. Proper European football being played. Our commentary game had everything in it. Terrific football. Messi put Barcelona ahead after 38 minutes. And that's the way it stayed until 79 minutes when Sartre and Ibrahima had scored from what looked arguably an offside position. But probably San Germain, I suppose, for their endeavours, deserved that bit of luck and got themselves level. And then and then from a penalty given away by the go, by the Paris goalkeeper, Xavi sent him the wrong way, get Barcelona what looked to be a, a crucial victory, take back to the new camp and two away goals. They still have those two away goals, by the way. And then Matini, by a deflection through Victor Valdez, has tidied up at 2-2. So it's all to play for in a week's time. And commentary will be... And we will be uh, bringing commentary of neither that or the Juventus game next Wednesday night for our match night live. And uh, it's full time now in the game against uh, between Bayern Munich and Juventus. So... No away goals for the Italian side tonight. Bayern Munich have run out what looks like comfortable 2 0 winners. So, but never write Juventus off. They've got a very good record at their ground. And they could, they could, um, they could be well in. With a, still with a chance at the end of it. Well, that's it from our match night coverage. Hope you very much enjoyed the, the Paris Saint -Germain, our commentary tonight of Paris Saint Germain versus Barcelona. And a really, it was a really good contest. And uh, we hope to join you for more Champions League commentary next next tomorrow night. But until then, from me, it's a very good night to you all. Good night. <laughs>